And welcome to Around the Ozark Spotlight. Each week we uncover the stories behind the people who live and work in southwest Missouri, those individuals with entrepreneurial spirit who work to better the lives of others, or even put pen to paper to write books about the stories and history of the Ozarks and its people. I'm your host, Scott Meyer. Today we are exploring the world of live, and when I say live, very live theater, with Courtney Neal, who is the Marketing and Community Relations Manager at Sight and Sound Theaters in Branson, uh, which is currently featuring The Miracle of Christmas, and coming soon, David the Musical. But before we get into David the Musical, let's say good morning to Courtney. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here with you, Scott. Well, it is. And it's, uh, I mean, I can't say it's a pleasure for you, but it's certainly a pleasure for me. And I appreciate <laughs> that. Uh, looking at your bio a little bit, Courtney, I don't know if we told the folks about this the last time we had you on about a year ago, but uh, I see you're a graduate of Drury. Yes, yeah, so I got my undergraduate degree at College of the Ozarks and graduated from there back in 2020. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just love learning. So I thought, what better way to spend 2020 than to just go ahead and get my master's degree in integrated marketing at Drury University. So I was able to do that in 2020 and 2021. Now, I, I've got to say, and I, I really like to talk about this a little bit with our audience, because I don't know if they know as much as some of us do have had, who've had an opportunity to actually hire young people from uh, College of the Ozarks. Tell us a little bit about that experience, if you could. Absolutely. So College of the Ozarks is an undergraduate program, a four-year program that has been coined Hard Work U because all of their students, there's a little less than 1,500 students that attend there. We all graduate 100% debt free. So we work 15 hours a week on on-campus workstations is what we call them. So I had the opportunity to work at the Keter Center, which is an on-campus restaurant. And I worked mm -hmm. 15 hours a week there. But yeah, I graduated 100% debt free, which not a ton of folks can say in today's economy. And it really just set me and my husband, he's also a graduate of the year, up for success when we started out in the real world. It was such a blessing for sure. Now, if the student level is only 1,500, is that by design? Or is it uh, not that many folks know about it? Or what, what, what keeps it so low? I believe it is by design because every student would require, you know, additional work responsibilities or additional workstations if it were to grow. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not super familiar if they plan on expanding it. I know they have a new president leading that campus, um, Dr. Johnson. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not sure what's to come. But while I was there, it was always just about 1500 students. Well, without getting too deep into the woods, how about you share with us why you went there? What uh, you had a lot of choices, I'm sure, when you got out of high school. Sure, sure. Well, number one. Graduating debt-free was very important to me, but I also loved the core values of the institution. So it really celebrates learning about patriotism, thanking your veterans, understanding the sacrifice that they've made for the freedoms that we get to enjoy today. But more importantly, it's a Christian campus. So we had chapel services, we had Christian worldview classes where you really got to understand why you believe what you believe, because when you come on campus, you're 18. And up to that point, most of us had just been going to church with our parents the majority sure. of our lives. So it's just the opportunity to get to understand your relationship with Christ a little bit more intimately. Oh, that's great. Thanks for sharing that. And one yeah. of the things that we've talked about, my wife and I, is finding our way down to the, uh, uh, to the uh, what do you call it? <laughs> the the Keter Center? Yeah, where they where the kids learn how to prepare meals and uh, yes. well, actually, right? You learn a career in, in yes. food, food the preparation. The Peter Center is a farm to fork style restaurant. Mm -hmm. They have lunch and dinner, but my most favorite is Sunday brunch, and we always treat my dad for his birthday brunch <laughs> there. But it's just such a spectacular experience. You get to interact with students that are working on campus, but. To me, the food is just absolutely divine. It's yeah. delicious. It's well, we've really got to do that. that. That's not why we're here today, but I appreciate you sharing yeah. that. And uh, from the horse's mouth, if you will. <laughs> and not that you're a <laughs> horse, but, but certainly the fact that you you work there and, and you're, you're aware of it. And uh, we've heard nothing but good things. If you do want to go there for Sunday brunch, is that something that you have to reserve weeks, months in advance? I would recommend 
reserving in advance as much as you can. They do take yeah. a limited number of walk-ins, but yeah, go to the Sunday brunch and then stay a couple days and come watch a sight and sound production. We have shows Tuesday through Saturday each week. Well, let's talk about sight and sound. Now, for anybody that's listening or watching right now, if you have never experienced this place, it is a tremendously huge uh, theater. And uh, uh, it's just fascinating because the audience, you're not necessarily participating in the production, but you kind of are because the production goes on around you almost 360 degrees. Absolutely. Yeah, I would describe it similar to what you're saying, Scott. It's an immersive experience. And what we mean by that. If you were to come, we have a 300 foot wraparound stage. We have animals that run through our aisles. And in the Miracle of Christmas show, you'll even see some performers above you, our angels flying in the air above you. So <laughs> we have a lot of special effects. Our animals make us stand out. And just the, the professionalism and excellence of our cast is just spectacular as well. Now there's two sight and sound theaters in the country. Yes, our original theater is in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And we have been bringing these Bible stories to life on stage for almost 50 years. So wow. Lancaster had its start way back in the day. It started with really humble dairy farmer, our founder, Glenn Eshelman, who just had a passion for art. And he was capturing these beautiful landscapes of Amish farms in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Over time, he, he kind of made these multimedia slideshows of these beautiful portraits that he was taking of his local community and he was adding music and then he was adding narration and then he was adding live elements and he traveled the country sharing these multimedia shows and then he just thought what if people come to us instead of us going to them and that is when the first sight and sound was somewhat born um really the first show of I don't know, the size of productions we do now was Noah. And that was 30 years ago, next wow. year. So we're celebrating the 30th anniversary of Noah in Lancaster in 2025. So yeah, a long and really beautiful history of how we came to what we are today. Now, obviously you didn't see the original Noah because you're so young. Uh, do you get a chance to get up to Lancaster and get to see this production? And is I it coming, do. is it going to come to Branson then as well? Eventually, I would say it will definitely make its way back to the Branson stage, but we haven't announced when it's coming um, mm -hmm. anytime soon. So right now, what we know is what's coming next year to the Branson stage. But I do have the pleasure of visiting our Lancaster Theater about twice a year to go see the productions out there and connect with the broader team. The Sight and Sound employee base is nearing almost 900 employees at this point. So it's wow. just an honor to be able to see folks that we partner with on a day-to-day -day basis in person because, you know, just relationship and collaboration is so important within our work culture. That's 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 fascinating stuff. Yeah. Uh, the, the theater itself is amazing. It seats how many people? Just over 2,000 seats in both of our theaters. And And it's fair to say you really can't get a bad seat in the house. Absolutely not. And you know, some of my favorite seats, I know a lot of folks like to sit on the aisle seats on the floor, the ground level is what we call it. But mm -hmm. most of the time, because of how large our productions are, I like to sit in the ray seating um, just to be able to take it all in and the set is completely in front of me. But really, it's up to your preference of what you prefer to experience. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on now, and that is the miracle of Christmas. Now, a lot of the regular season, uh, not season tickets, but uh, tickets for this event have been sold, but you do have some availability. Yes. So if you are planning for some Christmas or holiday gatherings in December, there still are a few seats available for miracle of Christmas, but this show is very nostalgic as well. It's one of our earliest productions. Mm -hmm. Um, similar to Noah, almost 30 years old. It's about 28 years old, but it's beautiful. And it follows the story of Mary and Joseph as they bring Christ into the world. Um, you'll see, of course, our sweet animal performers, camels, goats, sheep, and many more in this production. And the kids absolutely love to see the angels fly in the audience as well. 
Courtney Neal is my guest today on Around the Ozark Spotlight. Courtney has the uh, what sounds like really a great job uh, being in marketing and community relations uh, as a community relations manager for Sight and Sound Theater in Branson. Do you ever do studies on how many folks from the Springfield area, even though we consider Branson obviously part of the Springfield area, but how many just from the city of Springfield find their way down there every year? We definitely, well, Springfield is our number one fan base or audience that comes to experience our shows. I don't have exact numbers on the city of Springfield, but on a more regular basis, they make up almost 25% of our ticket purchasers. So we're so grateful for our neighbors in the Springfield area coming up to Branson to experience our shows. Well, one of the reasons I like having you on the program is to see that we can't get that number up to 50% or more, only That's because I, I, I'm always amazed. Well, I'm always amazed when I talk to uh, neighbors and friends who say, you know, sometimes there's just not a lot to do around Springfield. And I said, well, if you consider all of this area as part of Springfield, there's a ton of things to do. And Branson, my goodness, you know, there's a million things you can do before the show and after the show. But the fact that you can see a show of this magnitude. I think the last time I saw a show anything like this, it was uh, in New York City. Yeah. Uh, you just don't see you just don't see productions like this. Now yeah. you talk about some live uh, live animals in this production. What are we looking for there? Well, one of my favorite performers in this show is Curly the Camel, and his personality is just so big. He loves <laughs> the spotlight on stage in this show. Um, we also have a handful of sheep that are just precious. And then most of the performers do have a favorite animal friend that's in the show, and that's Manny the um, donkey, because he is just so friendly and he just always wants snuggles. So if you see him on stage, he just really enjoys being around Mary and Joseph and loves his time on the Miracle of Christmas stage. So is it fair to say some of them are hams, even though they oh, may not be absolutely. little pigs? <laughs> absolutely. So how many actors are involved in this production? In this production, we have just under 50 performers. That does include wow. some of our child performers that are part of the show. They do an excellent job. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's top-notch um, entertainers, as you've come to expect with Sight and Sound. For each one of our productions, we do cast and do contracts for every single show. So just because you were part of the Queen Esther cast does not guarantee that you'll be part of the Queen Esther cast or sorry, uh, the Miracle of Christmas cast sure. or David cast coming up. Well, Queen Esther, it's easy to get that confused because that ran for a long time and that thing was yes. sold out. Yes. Uh, and what a production that was. I mean, it's when you've got horses charging up and down the aisles, it's amazing. Yes, we were sad to see that show go. And I'm sure that production will make its way back to the brains and stage sometime in the future, but we're excited for what's to come. Well, it's really phenomenal. Now, you had mentioned uh, before we started the broadcast that if you can't get tickets, there is a way to watch the uh, performance itself. Yes. Thank you, Scott. So if you decide that you'd like to experience Miracle of Christmas and maybe just your schedule doesn't allow to visit the Branson area or potentially the tickets just aren't available to see it in person, mm -hmm. we do have an exclusive platform called Sight and Sound TV. And it's a streaming platform with Sight and Sound Productions available on it. Miracle of Christmas is brand new to that platform. So you can enjoy the Sight and Sound live production from the comfort of your living room. So it's as simple as going to sight-sound.tv. And then you can do one of two things. You can do a pay-per-view, which means you just have access to Miracle of Christmas if you'd like to watch that production. Or you could join our season pass holders. And that allows you to watch all of the we have one dozen productions available on that platform, and you'd have access to watch all of them as many times as you'd like for an entire year. We're going to be back in a moment with more uh, with Courtney Neal, and we're going to talk about what's coming up next for Sight and Sound Theaters. You're listening to Around the Ozark Spotlight, and I'm your host, Scott Meyer, back in just a minute. Hey, everybody, it's Ethan and Sarah Forhats from your favorite podcast, Around the Ozarks in Five. I'm sure you've been wondering, how can I get even more amazing stories, events, and witty banter to start my day? Well, look no further. Here we are. Sign up for our daily newsletter. You'll have what's going on around the Ozarks right at your fingertips each weekday morning. Yeah, just go to aroundtheozarks.com, click on the newsletter tab to sign up. Thanks for listening to Around the Ozarks in Five. We hope to see you in your inbox soon. 
Welcome back to the second half of today's Around the Ozark Spotlight. I'm your host, Scott Meyer. With me, the very smiling Courtney Neal. Courtney, the Marketing and Community Relations Manager at Sight and Sound Theater in Branson. Uh, one of two Sight and Sound Theaters in the country. If you happen to be in the Lancaster, Pennsylvania area, you can go see Sight and Sound there as well. Now, they've got a different production, I'm assuming right now, than what we have uh, here in Branson. They do. They have Daniel, which is the newest Sight and Sound show on their stage through the end of the year. Okay. Well, let's talk about what's coming here, because as much as we want to see the miracle of Christmas, soon we're going to be able, be able to see David the musical. And when does that start? David will be starting March 8th of 2025. It is by far my favorite Sight and Sound production that we've ever brought to the stage. And I think that's primarily because of the music in this show. So David, of course, inspired a lot of the Psalms. So it's original music from the Psalms. Psalms 23 is my favorite song in this production. You can actually listen to that already on Spotify. It's available there and a few other platforms as well. But David is one that you do not want to miss. So it'll be March 8th all the way through January 3rd of 2026. So it's also the longest we've had a show on stage in one given year. That's a long, how, how long was Esther, Queen Esther on? We typically end it at the end of December. So um, Esther ran through, um, it would be 2023 through October of this year. So about a year and a half. Right. Well, that's uh, that's an amazing time. Now, is the theater closed between uh, the time that Miracle uh, of Christmas is done? And yes. This so one we'll starts? be David's gearing done. up. We'll be taking Miracle of Christmas off stage and bringing David to the stage, mm -hmm. along with having rehearsals for our cast members, stage technician, lighting team, et cetera. So we'll we'll have all of our show operations team preparing for this new production. Now, a production that large, uh, have they already picked the cast or is the cast being picked as we speak? Yes. So cast signed contracts in October of this year. Wow. They're already, some of them are already preparing for David. So <laughs> last week, um, just a fun fact, for any of our primary roles, there are at least four performers that could step in and do that role. So for David, there are four men that could step in and perform the role of David for any given show. They already are having specialized training to play the harp live on stage for this production. <laughs> They're absolutely beautiful, these harps. So it was really fun to see them getting ready for this show. And it was already <laughs> starting last week. So you get a chance to uh, spend a little time backstage and get uh, and get the real story. Yes, absolutely. Now, the actors and actresses that are part of this, are some of them local? Are these uh, uh, traveling actors and actresses from around the country? Where do they come from? There are definitely some that are local, mm -hmm. but I would say the majority of them end up moving here from around the country. So just thinking, um, using King Xerxes from Queen Esther as an example. Sure. He is originally from New Jersey, but he's been living here in Branson since 2009. He's actually been in production since 2009 here in the Branson, Missouri location. So now he would consider himself a local, but he uh -huh. came here for Sight and Sound. So Sight and Sound actually is quite an employer as well. Yeah, at the Branson location, we have about 350 employees, and that's mm -hmm. anywhere from our front of house team that's going to help you get your glazed almonds at the concession stand <laughs> um, to our show operations team and deck technicians that are helping push the sets on stage to get them in place for the show. Yeah. Now, Courtney, I'm glad you brought that up. One of the things that I was most impressed with having been there my first time last year was one of the rare times that a concession area doesn't perform highway robbery. I couldn't <laughs> believe the prices. I mean, I thought the prices were amazing. Yes. Yeah. The glazed almonds are by far one of my favorites, but every now and again, I just need one of those pretzels with cheese that are always so good. <laughs> But unlike going to the circus, you know, where they might uh, uh, get you for $15 or something for sure. one of those things, yeah. it's not even close to that. So, you know, yeah. you could bring a family. That, that's where I'm going with this to, to bring. And we saw some huge families. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, I, I saw busloads of families getting off, uh, you know, small buses. You'd have grandma and grandpa and the mom and dad and all the kids. I mean, to see these productions, I can only imagine what David's going to be like. Yeah, it's definitely for 
all ages. We get asked that on a regular basis, like, will this keep the attention of my six-year-old? And we are a family-owned company. Our productions are from ages two to 102, so everything's very family-friendly. But at the same time, we're going to stay true to what scripture says. Um, we get a question a lot about, will Bathsheba be featured in the David production? Because it's a little bit of a promiscuous part of the tale and story of David, of him succumbing to just human nature and um, what it looked like for him to come back to the Lord. Um, and we just like to share, yes, Bathsheba is part of the show, but it's done in a very tasteful way, one that your children can experience this, but really our stories are meant to bring the Bible to life on stage. So it's an opportunity for you to dive into scripture with your kiddos, with your family, and then see it come to life in a way that just makes it so memorable, so fun, um, and just something that the whole family will never forget and want to come back time and time again. I'm glad you touched on that. Uh, I, I I couldn't help but feel that way when we came out of the last production of Queen Esther. It was, it was a little bit like going to a, a significant, um, not church event. I don't want to put it in a, in a box like that. That's not fair. But you, you can't help but come out with a renewal in your own faith after you've seen a production like that. Absolutely. I'll say for myself after seeing. Daniel earlier this year, it really challenged my faith. I'm like, man, I didn't remember that happening to Daniel and his friends. So it was an opportunity for me to dive back into scripture and go my relationship with him because I got to see the story in a really new way. Well, I got a feeling that the, a lot of the people that were at the show felt the same way because you would hear, even though it's not an audience participation uh, in that sense, people were participating. I oh, mean, there certainly. were people being moved. You know, it's yeah. it's pretty amazing that way. Yes, for sure, for sure. You don't typically see that. You know, you can go to other productions of different things, and you just don't see the audience um, feeling so moved as they do in, in something like this. And I can only imagine now with the sat with uh, the miracle of Christmas, what that's going to be like. Yeah, absolutely. I'll say some of the most moving parts of the David production involve the LED screen. So for those that had seen Jesus, which was on stage just a few years ago here in Branson, mm -hmm. we had a magnificent backdrop. It's over a hundred feet long and super, super tall as well. And it was an LED back screen that just really brought depth and dimension to the story wow. of Jesus. Well, we are bringing that back for David and that multimedia LED screen really, really brings to life some of these scripture verses and just mm -hmm. made me emotional watching this production of seeing David experience the hardship that he did, um, defeating Goliath as an example. I mean, there are just some amazing use of special effects um, and multimedia to really bring this story to life next year. So we're excited to share that. Courtney Neal, my guest that you're hearing and seeing on uh, today's Around the Ozark Spotlight uh, with Sight and Sound Theater, where, again, if you've never experienced, if you like theater, that's one thing. But if you like theater on the big stage, and when I say big stage, we had seats in the rear of the theater, up raised seats up against the back of the theater. And when we first got there, thought, oh, my gosh, we're so far from the stage. How are we going to see anything? Those were some of the best seats in the house. You could see everything. And when I say everything, there's stuff going on on your upper left. There's things going on in your lower right. I mean, there's you, you just are really uh, surrounded by theater, singing, music. It's incredible. Absolutely. Um, I know we talked a little bit about the animals and miracle of Christmas. So talking about just an animal spotlight for our David show that's coming in 2025, and we'd love for you all to join us for that show. We already have, Scott, we have 40 sheep on property because, of course, in this story, we're going to cover a lot of ground. So sure. we're covering the time of David being a young shepherd boy all the way to when he became king of Israel. But seeing those precious sheep on our property in the pastures to the side of the theater they are just precious. I can't wait to see them have their time in the spotlight next year. So the theater almost acts as a farm? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Our, our animal handling team, they're just so wonderful. 
the tender loving care that our animal performers receive is just precious. So we have three pastures on our property for them to get some fresh air, get some jitters out before the show um, and more. So, and we even have surprise appearances even in the marketing office sometimes. I wish I could share a photo, but <laughs> Manny, the donkey made an appearance in my office just last week. Did you give him a big hug? Sounds like he likes hugs. He does like hugs. I did give him <laughs> a little bit of a hug for sure. <laughs> oh, that's great. So when the David production starts, which you said is in March, what's the what's the first date? Saturday, March 8th will be the first show that it's available. Um, but yeah, we'd love to see you throughout the entire year. You can book tickets starting today. If you'd like to book and reserve your seat to get your preferred seating, now would be the best time to do that. And it's available on site-town.com. David, it'll be March 8th through January 3rd of 2026. Wow, that's that's incredible. Can you book large groups? And if so, Absolutely. is that different? What do you need to do that way? Yes, you can book large groups, of course, online, but you can also book over the phone if you'd like to just talk through with one of our customer service representatives. Mm -hmm. They are experts at the Sight and Sound shows. If you bring more than 15, we do have a group discount. Oh, okay. Now, do you, do you find uh, a lot of that? Do, do uh, different congregations uh, set aside uh, or, or ask you to set aside seats and tickets uh, for either their youth groups or even uh, just, in, just in general? We see a lot of youth groups. We see a lot of senior adult groups that maybe do a Bible study over these characters that we have on stage and then bring their entire church family to come see our production. So yeah, bringing groups, it, it makes up a large percentage of our visitors to the theater. Uh, and it's, you know, again, it's it's easy to corner people into something to say, well, if you're not a person of faith, you probably wouldn't enjoy these shows. That's not fair. Uh, I, I think because of the theater that's involved, uh, they would enjoy them anyway, whether they're faithful or not. Absolutely. I just think regardless of your faith background, what Sight and Sound brings is just a very, very high production quality value for you to experience. You're going to experience original music. You're going to experience live animals that are running through the aisles, <laughs> a very talented cast of over 50 in this production of David. And all in all, what I would just call a warm experience that's sure. going to bring your family together. And the, and the music is uh, amazing. All of these things, uh, the, yeah. the music's amazing. It definitely stands out for sure. Yeah. Uh, all right. So to wrap things up, we've got a couple of minutes here. Uh, there's still a few tickets left for the uh, uh, Miracle of Christmas, which mm -hmm. uh, runs now through Christmas or beyond Christmas? Through December 28th. Okay. So you can actually uh, see it uh, beyond Christmas. And yes. there's a number of places to find some tickets. Difficult to get them in groups. There aren't many of those left, right? There's not very many of those left. Yes, I would recommend if you're looking to experience Miracle of Christmas, booking that as soon as possible at site-sound.com. Okay, and if they want to stream it, they can. And where's that site? Yes, if you'd like to watch it from the comfort of your living room, which is just a recording of our onstage production, you can visit site-sound.tv. It's on Sight and Sound TV, the streaming platform. Okay, and then David, the musical starts March 8th. That's correct. Runs for runs for an entire year. I would guess, uh, have tickets already gone on sale or are they just starting this week? They are available. Yep. They've been on sale since April of this year. But oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know a lot of people aren't planning that far in advance. I know for myself, I'm not planning that far in advance either. But yes, it's available <laughs> for you to start planning your spring break plans in March or even looking ahead for next summer. Well, I, I think uh, just like with this show, with the with the Miracle of Christmas show, uh, if you wait to the last minute and you start looking for tickets, uh, they're tough to find. They are. And it's so sad when I know folks get so excited to come and see our shows on stage. But the best thing I can recommend is just once you're planning ahead and looking at what you'd like to do, to go ahead and reserve your seats. And the other thing are show times uh, vary a little bit. Show times for David, do you have those yet? Yes, they do vary a bit. So the best thing to do is to visit our website. But on an average week, we have shows from Tuesday through Saturday and typically have them available 3.30 to 7.30, 3.30 and 7.30 showtimes. 
There are a few weeks next year in 2025 where it's 1130 and 330 show time. So just make sure that you're careful when you're booking your seats. Okay. And hopefully you'll get to see one of these four actors that get to play David. (laughs) Yeah. I can't imagine four people learn the entire, uh, that, that entire performance. I know. I know. I can't imagine. And really the role of David especially once you see it, you will understand how much energy these men are expending to bring this character to life. I want to thank my guest today, Courtney Neal, uh, for being on Around the Ozark Spotlight. Thank you, Courtney. Also, my producers, Taylor Dempster and Jay Stevens, as well as all of you for joining us today. If you happen to miss all or part of today's program, find it always on ATO Spotlight on AroundTheOzarks.com website. Actually, you can look for it in uh, YouTube as well, Facebook, Instagram, and X or on our new app for ATO, which can be found in the Apple App Store or the Android apps. Uh, I'm Scott Meyer. Remember, every day is a gift. Don't waste it. Have a great day.